Hi, I'm Mr. Bucky with MountUpDesign.com. This is our morning devotion. And this morning, let's, let's look at Genesis, the 12th chapter, beginning at the first verse. Now the Lord said to Abram, Go from your country and your kindred and your father's house to the land that I will show you. And I will make of you a great nation, and I will bless you and make your name great so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and him who dis dishonors you, I will curse. And in you, the families of the earth shall be blessed. So Abram went, as the Lord had told him, and Lot went with him. Now Abram was 75 years old, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> when he departed from Haran. And Abram took Sarah, his wife and Lot, his brother's son, and all their possessions that they had gathered and the people that they had acquired in Herod, and they set out to go to the land of Canaan. Now, I selected this scripture this morning because we've got a problem right now in the Middle East. Uh, this ISIS bunch has caused Christians to be sort of on the run. Uh, they're driving them out of every place, uh, decapitating them. We've already had two of our own decapitated. So let's look at how we can make sure that we're blessed by God. Abram had one had a mistake here. As we meditate on this word, Abram had a mistake. He made a mistake. And what was that mistake? Well, God told him, to leave his kindred and his father's house. Leave. Well, Lot, though, was part of his father's house. He was his nephew. And he took Lot with him. And he had trouble with Lot from then on. He and Lot just didn't get along. And they had, had to end up parting ways. Now, how, what happens when we don't seek him early? Well, let's look at it. Proverbs 8, 17. Let's look at that, okay? Um, I love those who love me, and those who seek me early will find me. Now, also, we could say that I love those, I love and can help those who love me, and those who diligently seek me early. They will find me. So that's a little bit different because he loves us all. But unless we seek him and his, his word and his guidance, then we're not going to get that blessing that we need each day. So that's one reason why uh, Phyllis and I, we seek him each morning early, don't we? Right. Um, and we find that when we do, everything goes a lot better during the day. And I, I think that Jesus was right on top of it when he said, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things that you need and desire will be yours as well or they'll be added unto you depending on the translation. Um, what did he mean by seek ye first? Well, we could talk about seeking him first as far as the morning is concerned <clears throat> because that's what uh, Proverbs tells us, but also seeking him first before we tackle a real big problem. And if we don't seek him first, I can assure you the day doesn't go well, and we've tried that, haven't we, buddy? That's right. Uh, and it, every time you don't seek him early, and you, and you start thinking on your own, thinking that, well, we, I can do this, I can handle this, I can do it, and every time you'll fall flat on your face. I mean, even to the point where one time you were looking for a screwdriver, were you? Yeah. And uh, <laughs> you couldn't find that screwdriver. Um, it's, it's all a matter of when we seek Him, when we ask Him for help. If we're going to wait until, until it's all over with, then we're not going to be able to get anywhere. It's kind of like my dad used to tell me, he said, Son, you call me whenever you want to make a decision on something, but the truth is you've already made the decision. 
So you really didn't seek me first. You 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 already made the decision, and that's that's the way God is. God says, "Seek me first, and you'll find me. Seek me first, and my righteousness." Which means, of course, have faith in God. Have faith in the written word, the inspired word of God, as we read it in in the Word. Now, you want to talk a little bit about prayer? Yeah. I wanted to, uh, let, let me... Uh, because we always include that. But. Yeah, let me reposition the camera. Hold on just a minute. All right. All right, I just wanted to mention uh, about the prayer. Now, we, we are definitely not going to pray on the video other than we might pray for those watching. That would be good. Mm -hmm. a, a little short prayer for all of that. But we do pray for very specific things in the morning, and one of the biggest things that we pray about every single morning is that the Lord would lead and guide us in exactly the way we need to go in this day and uh, help us to have the energy and strength to do whatever task we're going to do. And also, I always pray that He will cause us to have uh, delicious and nutritious food every single day, which, of course, uh, helps us with our health. And um, the other thing is that God promises to renew our youth like the eagles, to make us strong, soaring, and overcoming. So we also ask for that. And um, I think it works. I do too. Yeah, I think I it works. Too. And uh, so anyway, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, let Mr. Bucky. Now why don't uh, you do it? Why well, I was going to ask you to pray for the people who are watching. Right, okay. Yeah. You know, God likes men to pray too, right? <laughs> All right. So we're going to turn it around. Hold on. We're going to pray now. Father, we just come before you in the precious and mighty name of Jesus, Father. We know that you are a gracious and merciful God. And we ask forgiveness for all of our sins from this point back. We just cleanse our slate and wash us clean by the blood of Jesus. Father, you know exactly who's watching this right now. And we, you know who needs to hear from you. And Father, we just ask that you would reach down and touch that person so that that person can know you as we know you. Can, Father, we, just, we ask that you would give all who watch an abundant life today. Let them know that you love them and that you are there for them. Let them know, Father, that you, there is no space or time requirement with you, that you're always available, that you want them to succeed in everything that they do. And Father, we just ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now we're going to let we're going to be into our private prayer, right? Right. All we'll right. see you all next time. We'll see you all next time.